For seven decades, we've been exploring space through different agencies, of course, and yet solar missions for every space agency is a relatively new phenomenon. It all started in this millennium. India is, of course, preparing for our maiden solar mission launch. But a quick look now as to why ISRO has decided to zero in on the sun. Why probe the sun at all? We explain in our next report. Sun keeps the solar system together, from the biggest planet Jupiter to the smallest particles in its orbit. 4.5 billion years old Sun is a hot glowing ball of hydrogen and helium. Sun can accommodate 1.3 million Earths. From the powerful eruptions to the steady stream of charged particles, the Sun influences the nature of space throughout the solar system. Sun doesn't spin like, let's say, the Earth. Sun is made up of super hot, electrically charged gas called plasma. This plasma rotates at different speeds on different parts of the Sun. At its equator, the Sun completes one rotation in 25 Earth days. At its poles, the Sun rotates once on its axis every 36 Earth days. The temperature in the Sun's core is about 27 million degrees Fahrenheit or 15 million degrees Celsius. It is so hot that it can sustain a nuclear fusion. This creates outward pressure that supports the star's gigantic mass, keeping it from collapsing. About the Sun's surface are its thin chromosphere and the huge corona or the crown. This is where features such as solar prominences, flares and coronal mass ejections happen. Sun flares and coronal mass ejections are giant explosions of energy and particles that can reach Earth. A solar probe typically looks at studying all of these from a safe distance so that nothing gets burned down. Solar probes are also carried out to predict successfully the flares and giant explosions that propel particles from it and can cause serious damage to any spacecraft. Center and has the capability to alter atmospheres of different planets, including Earth. Sun is a relatively younger star in our galaxy. Study of the Sun helps understanding other stars in the Milky Way and galaxies beyond. The various thermal and magnetic phenomena on the Sun are of extreme nature. So the Sun provides a good natural lab to understand those phenomena. These otherwise cannot be directly studied in the lab. All these studies lead to a better understanding of Earth, its atmosphere, genesis of this solar system and the universe.